All right, how's it going, everybody? I am here with a video. I haven't made a video in a while because I don't really want to make redundant videos, but this one I think will be somewhat helpful because I've seen parts of it online, but not all of it online. So I'm going to uh, give you a guide on how to do Pavlov on Lua. All right, so right here is A. It's basically all the same. A and B sometimes switch, so that's something to watch for, but you know, it's not it's not bad. Invisibility is great, but it doesn't really help all that much here. It helps a tiny bit, because sometimes there are those drone seekers that try to find you, and that helps a little bit, but the only real frame that will help you all that much is Limbo, and I'm not gonna make a video like that, because if you have Limbo, you don't need this video. So here you go, right now we're in the present, and we need to go to the past. So here's the Void Rift, just go right on through and start training. Basically, other videos will have you go over here, shoot this down, and wall latch to that, hit that button. We're not doing that. That's difficult and, you know, I don't like that. Sometimes you can't see these, so you gotta reshoot them, and I have terrible aim. But we're going back into the present. Here we are. The present is here. We're walking around. Walk down through this little passageway, jump up on... Oh jump up on here and basically just jump right over that laser right there. You're going to want to jump down to here and get on this zip line. Now if there's a guy here, I'd suggest going visible, like right now that I didn't even see. <laughs> I'm lucky. Hello. Um, get on here. I mean, and there's ways to avoid him. You don't need an invisibility frame. Basically, on this, you want to get to the other side of this. There's a little tree that goes up there that has a broken part. I'm going to get detected intentionally just for you guys to have a good view. Right there. That's where we want to get up through there. So I'm just going to do that right now. And that laser should have detected me. Um, so we get in here. We hit here. And now we hack it and we're done. Simple as that. So let's A. Go back through the past. Go back to the present from the past. And now we're ready to do B. Alright, so here is B. B is the laser one. It's pretty easy. It's not too bad. Um, yeah. There are going to be three lasers on each side, and you just wait for the end of three, and then run on the outside. See? Just keep your distance. Don't get too close. It's just physics. And then you jump down into this void portal on the ground here. And in that void portal, you get here. Now, there are two ways to do this. You can just jump like I'm going to do. Try to jump through there, because there's really not much after there. Or you can jump on these. Don't hit there, and don't hit the walls. They both electrocute you. You want to stay on the white and not too close to either. We'll see how this goes. All right, there's one. I'm gonna wait. Ah, ah, ow, 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 ow. <laughs> All right, we're good. We're good. We're good. Let me get back up here. Again, that electricity, no good. No good at all. See, I set off the alarms. I'm not too worried. Because after that, you go up here. You go on top of the stairs, as always. And see, you get a lot of time. Keep your guy here. You're going to want him. Just take your operator into here. Don't worry about this door closing. I'm going to let it close just to show you that my operator's up there. Maybe triggering the alarms. And see, you got a lot of time. You got, what was that, like a minute, 40 seconds? So... You know, assuming you can do this right. And you can. And right there. Get, yeah, yeah. Keeping up to date, Lotus. So that's B. It's pretty easy. It's not too bad. Just don't get electrocuted too much. Oh, hey, here's a bonus. You ever find this room? It's the music room. Uh, sometimes you get a format out of it, although I think they stopped that. And this is how you get Octavia Systems. Somewhat easy. You know, I'm not going to do it for you here, but... Wherever light's blue. I didn't even see it. I missed it. I think I even know what that is, but I'm not even going to try it. Ah, no, I am. Screw it. Oh, I already messed it up. Anyway, Octavia Systems is on the top, and sometimes the form is down here, if it's there. That's a little bonus tip. 
All right, this I assume is what all of you are here for, so I'll make it short and sweet. You hit that button up there and hit this over here. Now you walk through there, and what you're going to do, remember you're in the past, so what you do here affects the future, obviously, where we're going to go back to. I'm going to shoot that down. Really got to update my charge speed on Dread. Anyway, you shoot this down, and then you walk through the portal that you just made. Which is pretty straightforward, pretty simple. Go back into the past. Activate this, jump on top of it. Kind of difficult here, but that's alright. Um, hit that here, and if you have aim as crafty as mine, you'll be here all day. Jump up through that rift in the ceiling. And you'll typically land around here, just to show you. It may be a little confusing, but just walk straight forward. Get right into it. Um, and here's where a lot of people mess up. Uh, there are two different ways to get into this other room. I'm going to do the most simple way. I went back into the past. I'm going to shoot this void container. It's going to explode a hole in the wall. I'm going to go back into the present, and I'm going to exploit that hole in the wall. These go up and down, not side to side, so don't worry too much about getting detected by them. Although, do be careful. Now, this is the... It's not really the music room. I showed you that earlier. This is the... Whatever. It's the jumping on things room. You basically go into the past and try to activate this, and we're not going to do that. That's really difficult. I don't like that. We are going to stay here in the present. We're going to walk through here. Try not to get detected. Get detected all the time there, but I was lucky there. Okay. So typically speaking, you go into the... Uh, present go over there we don't do any of that stuff that's difficult as well there's a much easier way to do it all of you have operators because you're on lua so just take your operator and walk through i almost messed that up just take your operator walk through here bullet jump over to here all right so we are currently in the present we're going to go back to the past and hit this button if i can and back to the present or the yes the present sorry it always confuses me. That's going to fall from the ceiling. How convenient. Now we're going to walk into here. Um, from here, go back into the past. Activate this little thing right here. And this button will be going. As you can see, there's a void container right there. What we're going to do, once we activate this button, it's going to transfer... Uh, like I said, if you have aim as bad as mine, you better just give up. It's, it's not a good day. So we're going to hit this to activate, and there it's gone. It's into the present. Just like us. Now we can go there. But just make sure that that, uh, that void container makes it there. So we're there. The void containers fall. I shoot a hole in the wall. And it becomes very easy from here. Go through this void portal here and hack the console. That, I believe, is the most straightforward and simple way to do it. Now, just remember, you got to come out of the past into the present, and you're done. I hope that helped. Uh, if you have any questions, leave them in the comments. And until next time, thanks for watching.